so financial sector reforms in india uh, we classify the financial sector in our country into three different phases first phase is 1950s and 1960s this phase is known as period of instability laissez faire and underdeveloped banking because do, during this period the financial institutions were predominantly controlled by the private sector and more freedom was given to these financial institutions and bank failures were regular in those days that's why we call this period as the financial period of financial instability as 1970s and 1980s this is known as a period of financial development and period of financial repression why is it called financial period of financial repression because this period witnessed a number of regulatory measures being put forward by the government third period since 1990 we have been experiencing financial deepening or financial liberalization what is financial repression what are the features of this period actually financial repression existed till 1990 there were administered interest rates financial institutions did not have freedom to decide lending and borrowing interest rates they used to be determined by the government large preemption of banking resources by the government more regulations limited choices of insurance and pension and no more, more transparency in financial dealings strong entry barriers license to using license government restricted the entry of other financial institutions in the field and there was absence of competition in 1991 we introduced financial sector reforms what are the objectives of financial sector reforms one is to remove financial oppression that existed earlier create an efficient productive and profitable financial sector enable price discovery provide operational and functional autonomy to institutions prepare the financial system for increasing international competition to open up the financial sector to the external market and to promote and maintain maintain the financial stability banking sector reforms two committees were appointed both committees were chaired by rbi governor the former rbi governor m narasim first is a committee on financial system and second is a committee on banking sector reforms the committee recommended the introduction of phased implementation of international best practices and norms on risk weighted capital adequacy recommend granting of operational autonomy to public sector banks protection of public ownership in public sector banks by allowing them to raise capital from equity market up to 49% weighted capital banking sector reforms a continuation sharp reduction in preemption through reserve requirements and disbanding of administrative industry setting up of debt recovery tribunals asset reconstruction companies enactment of securitization and reconstruction of financial assets in the enforcement of securities investors or cosi act setting up of credit information bureau for info for information sharing on departments as well as other borrowers and there is also a board of financial supervision for the control of the commercial banks and technology related measures of course we know that and allowing for that investment banking sector what are the government security market reforms the main objective of the market reforms was to move away from a strategy of preemption of resources from banks administered industry and through monetization to a market oriented system what are the debt market reforms first administered interest rates on government securities were replaced by an auction system for price discovery automatic monetization of fixed deposit through the issue of hot receivables was phased out introduction of trading of government securities on stock exchanges for promoting retailing in such securities permitting non banks to participate in the market what are the foreign exchange market reforms indian foreign exchange market had been heavily controlled since 1950 foreign exchange was made available by the reserve bank of india through a complex licensing system the move towards a market based exchange rate regime in 1993 and the subsequent adoption of current account convertibility is a key issue in reforming the indian foreign exchange market 
evolution of exchange rate regime from a single currency to multiple currencies, basket of currencies, adoption of convertibility of rupee for current account, replacement of FERA by FEMA, foreign exchange regulation act has been replaced by foreign exchange management act. Authorized dealers to permitted to initiate trading positions, borrow and invest in overseas markets of different specifications. Capital market reforms. The Indian capital market has undergone a radical transformation since the initial of economic reforms since the early 90s. The reform measures were aimed at creating growth enabling institutions, boosting competitive conditions in the equity market, putting in place an appropriate regulatory framework, reducing the transaction cost, reducing information asymmetry, and thereby boosting investor confidence. Insurance sector, of course, we are new players in the insurance sector. Earlier, it was controlled by Rising and GIC. Now we have a an act, Insurance Regulatory Development Authority, IRD, that controls each and everything in the insurance sector. Pension fund. Now we have a new pension system and we have financial institutions operating in the field of the pension fund. And we have a regulatory setup for supervising the pension fund agencies that is called Pension Fund Regulatory Development Authority, PFPRD. Thank you.